Hi guys, let's talk about stem and leaf plots. These are really fun. They're, there's not going to be a lot of writing or work. You can kind of just look, right? So the idea is you take, you have a bunch of numbers and you put them in this plot and you say, I have numbers, I have numbers in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. So my list might have a 21, a 21, a 26. So I have this list of data and then I go all the way to, you know, 41, 43, 48. So this is just a succinct way of writing the data. Group, it groups them by the tens or not always the tens, but you know, by the biggest thing. So from this, you can tell that the longest conversation was 48 minutes. At a charity event, they gathered information on the donations. What is the smallest donation? Okay, well, I think you know, right? I mean, it's gotta have the smallest stem and it's gotta have the smallest leaf. So 16, smallest leaf in the smallest stem, right? Right, we wouldn't use this because that's, even though one's smaller than six, that's 21, right? 21 is bigger than 16. So the smallest donation was $16. I actually just got a call this morning about donating to the Children's Leukemia Foundation. So maybe this is a sign that I should. 16. The data below shows how many minutes it takes firefighters to respond to a call. What is the shortest response time? All right, this is fun. This is pretty relaxing, right? Just one, eight. Small stem, there's only one leaf there. So these firefighters were fast. They got there in 18 minutes. Maya uses the data below to record how many minutes it takes her to do her hair in the morning. What is the shortest amount of time it has taken her to do her hair? Okay. So stem of one, stem of eight, sorry, leaf of eight, right? So 18 minutes. I wish it could take me 18 minutes to do my hair. Just don't have enough hair left. Using the data below, how many times did 31 people attend the yoga class. Okay, that's a great question, right? Um, instead of asking about a number, it's asking about times, right? So there were several days, and on one day, 25 people showed up to yoga. Uh, on another day, 29 people showed up. On another day, 31 people showed up. On another day, 34 people showed up. On another day, 34 people showed up. And we can stop. We don't have to go through the end. You'll see when we read the question again, up to 51, just to, you know, there's a bunch we didn't write down, but how many times did 31 people attend the yoga class? Well, I think a, a way of saying that, that may be less confusing is how many days were there when 31 people showed up, right? And there was one day like that. So, Let's go with one. A store kept track of how many items each customer brought. How many customers bought exactly 15 items? This is similar to the last question, right? So we write, someone bought 12 items, some other person bought 14, some other person bought 15, some other person bought 23, some other person bought 25, and we can stop, right, etc. 40. Um, and only one customer bought 15. I mean, you don't even really have to write out the list. You can just see how many times does five show up when the stem is one. It just shows up one time, so one time, one customer. How many times did 25 people attend? So let's do this faster, right? Let's, let's figure out the pattern here. So we're in this stem. We want that leaf. There's only one five leaf, right? So one time. 
A yearly employee count is put into the chart below. How many years were there 21 employees? Okay, same idea. Stem is two. There's only one one. So there was one year in which there were 21 employees. Diana asks all her classmates how many hours of video games they play a week. How many students played more than 31, but less than 41 hours? Great question. So look, we can, we can be lazy and sort of circle the ones that work and say two, but let's, let's explain why, right? So we have 22 and then we get, you know, we have a bunch of stuff. I'll just write them all out, 22, 23, 27, 30, 30, 39, 39, 46, 46. So how many students played more than 31, but less than 41? Well, these two, right? Because, you know, it has to be in the 30s and maybe 40, but there were no 40s. Like you could tell there's nothing in the 40s. There's only 39, 39. So two students. The data below show how many styles of gene companies, how many styles of genes companies have. How many companies have greater than 18, but less than 19 styles? Greater than 18, but less than 19. That's, I mean, you don't even have to look at this histogram to know that the answer there is zero, right? You can't be greater than 18 and less than 19, right? Because the numbers that are greater than 18 are 19, 20, and then the numbers that are less than 19 are 18, right? So nothing is in both those categories. But you can also see from the histogram that there's nothing even close to 18 or 19 here. So either way, it's zero companies. Okay. Have a great day. Um, hopefully that was relatively painless and it's you know it's just a fun way to represent data that's that's quick so i'll see you next time